Following a story on Movie TV Ndola Bureau's local station about a prolonged sewer blockage at Hungry Lion on Blantyre Road within Ndola's central business area, the food place has been temporarily closed down. Several other shops sharing the same sewer system with Hungry Lion have equally been closed by the Ndola Health Department. Members of the public, especially taxi drivers who operate near Hungry Lion, raised concerns over the unattended sewer effluent, which they say has not only been a disturbance but a health risk. It's disappointing that these people can continue operating this kind of condition. Why would I be there making money? And this is a company, company. They are the first people who are supposed to on for front promoting hygiene. And a check by Movie TV News at Hungry Lion certainly proves that the blocked sewer manholes are closer to where food is prepared. Kafub Water and Sewerage Company has also moved in to rectify the sewer problem at Hungry Lion. Its water production and sewerage manager Bernard Puri has disclosed that at completion of the project, Hungry Lion is expected to pay the water utility company a sum of 24,000 kwacha rebased. It will be in the ranges of three to four million in the interim, but ultimately they will do what we call a fat trap. But we looked at the the what the period that it would take for us to put up a, a what a fat trap for them. Uh, that's how we've put an interim measure where we are going to lay that service line. And then ultimately at the end of it all, while it's that service line will be operational, then there will be a fat trap which will be in the ranges of 20 million somewhere there. Ideally, what is causing the blockage is the fat which is being generated by hungry lions. Hungry Lion, Blantyre Road and several other shops on the same building will remain closed for a few days until Kafu Water and Sewerage Company completes works on the sewer system. Mwaka Namfukwe, Movie TV News, Ndola.